Hello Crypto Investors and welcome to Paradise Fan video blog. The blog where we will see the news, the last news and relative and information relative with blockchain adoption, finances and investments. My name is Isaac Suarez and I will accompany you along this video. So for initiate our video blog, we want to make you make you aware about a war that is happening right now in the world. And no, we are not talking about the Ukrainian and Russia war. We are talking about a war in in terms of interbanking communication. Since 40 years ago, okay, uh, the communication between financial institutions has been made by a system called SWIFT. This is the system we have been used and we already are using for transmit information and um, make a capital and, and money transactions between financial institutions, okay? However, there is a new regulation who is going to, to regulate this kind of interbanking communication. This regulation is ISO 222 and it will be a mandatory regulation who will be start to be implemented in November, in March 2023 and must be completely done and completely implemented in November 2025. So we have two and a half years more or less or yeah, more or less two and a half years the banks have to implement this new uh, regulation okay so we are going to show you who are the war between and uh, which are the real competitors who can dethrone to the current system swift so nothing more to say let's go for it so Right now, there is a um, real war, okay, for being the new, for being the new standard uh, for cross-border, for for cross-border uh, transactions, for cross-border transactions, for and for for interbanking uh, communication and for currency conversion between banks. And this war is being uh, uh, is being developed by, obviously, the current uh, giant which is a, a, a swift is the the system all of us use nowadays okay and ripple ripple it's the novel system who is going to 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 make a hard competition with a swift and we are going to explain you why where, where are the is the is the strength of both systems and wh what are the weaknesses of the both systems, okay? So let's start by SWIFT. SWIFT is a system who, uh, which diagram is like this, okay? Uh, basically, um, they uh, um, is a change in where different um, institutions are involved in order to uh, the, the uh, uh, for example, a cross-border cross border transaction are done, okay? Let's see it with, a, with an example for understanding better. Let's say a person who lives in US wants to send to his uh, family a, a, a $1,000 uh, transaction and his family lives in, 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 in Indonesia, okay? So uh, this is what happened with the current system the person mm, orders the transaction okay and the sender bank uh, sent the order okay between the the different institutions in between okay to the uh, receiver bank then in the receiver bank this uh, first institution must have a bank account with with a, with a dollars this is a capital that the sender bank has blocked in uh, the receiver bank for this kind of uh, purpose okay 
So once the signal, the communication of the transaction gets to the receiver bank, then uh, the, then it made the currency com the currency compulsion. Okay, the uh, U.S. dollar is exchanged by the Indonesian rupiah. Okay, so the the family receive the transfer in Indonesian rupiah for being expanded there. So what are what are the the, the weaknesses of this uh, system? Uh, uh, first of all, okay, there are a lot of uh, agents, institution in between, okay, for make this cross border uh, transaction, okay. Uh, this makes the international uh, transactions very ex very ex expensive, since every 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 uh, participant in the change take a commission. Okay. The second one is the time, the duration of the of the of the transaction. As we can see in this in this map, we can see it can take from um, a few minutes to uh, almost one day within a same uh, region. However, when the the transaction is international, it can take uh, a days, since one day to two days, even five days. So this uh, this uh, timing is 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 not is not adapt to the new to the new uh, world and to the to the new technology we are already using, like uh, blockchain, who allow us to make a transaction to any uh, part in the globe in question of of, of a minute even as uh, seconds this is the two main uh, weaknesses of swift uh, system the their strength are the first and most important one is that they are already the leaders and they are already implement in in, in all the uh, traditional financial system okay so uh, if they can make the uh, adequate, the right changes for complain the regulation ISO 222 on time, for the banks will be easier just to, to don't, don't have to change the system they are already used. Let's remember that for human it's difficult to change, to adapt to the new things. So it will be easier just to keep the same uh, system. The second strength is that they are uh, um, swift. Is already working on the time on the on the transaction uh, timing. Okay, they are developing a um, system which is called Swift Go, who will allow um, to make a, a small transactions. It means transaction between people and between small and medium ent enterprises. Uh, in in a um, in a period of of, of three uh, uh, seconds. This is not uh, implement uh, 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 yet. It's being a uh, test, but it looks like it will it will work. Looks like they will uh, accomplish this timing because a uh, pre agreement that they they um, the banks the financial institutions make between them. So now is the turn of Ripple. Ripple is a is a, a platform who allows to uh, mm, uh, 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 makes all the interbanking communication and operation that Swift does. Uh, and in addition, they allow to uh, financial financial institutions like uh, central banks to create, manage, and destroy CBDCs. So let's uh, remember that the 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 uh, 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 the trend, okay, for the currency emit for the central banks, it's digital, okay, and the central banks will need a platform for uh, launch, create, and manage these uh, CBDCs. So Ripple is an excellent alternative for for them due to. Uh, they, uh, Ripple, they are a specialist in blockchain and uh, platform uh, 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 technology. They have been already uh, running its platform uh, since 2012, so it's already 12, uh, 12 uh, years. And uh, this is a, a great, uh, ad it's, it's a great, it's a great advantage for the central banks since. They uh, they don't have too much idea about uh, digital uh, platforms for deploying uh, currencies. 
uh, it's important to say that even if the uh, platform for CBDCs is a third party uh, platform, the central banks will have the total control because uh, uh, Ripple is a decentralized uh, platform. The central banks will have the total control for creating, manage, restrict and destroy CBDCs, okay? And they will not have the need to create their own uh, platform. In addition, if this system gets used for, for, for all the banks, the, it will be a single uh, system. So the compatibility between, between the banks will not be a, 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 a problem. If right now every bank use a different uh, a blockchain or a platform for uh, develop and launch their own CBDCs, uh, then we'll have the problem. They'll have the problem of the compatibility. Okay. So let's see what are the 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 the, 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 the strength of uh, Ripple. Uh, uh, the first of all, they can, as we already see, they can um, run and create a, a CBDCs, okay? The second, uh, the second and most important uh, strength is their system on demand liquidity, okay? This uh, system, okay, allows to financial institution make cross-border cross -border, uh, trans transactions and currency conversion without the need of having a bank account with the with their currency in the receiver bank let's see this with the last example we we use for the last example okay the 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 person who sent the one thousand dollar to his family in 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 Tunisia, okay when for this transaction are a uh, success by the SWIFT uh, system, the emissor bank must have an account in, in the receiver bank with uh, USD in order to make the conversion okay, for the rupiah. So let's imagine okay, all the association that the banks are with other banks around the world for, the kind, for this kind of transactions. And let's see, let's imagine how much capital is just blocked in this account without uh, we, 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 without being used for other uh, for other uh, purposes so with the on demand liquidity uh, system developed by ripple all these uh, um, accounts which are uh, called if i'm not uh, wrong uh, um, nostro account all these nostro accounts we will not be needed so this will um will reduce enormously the cost for all the infra 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 infrastructure the international banking infra infrastructure so how works this system let's let's put the the last example when the person ordered to his bank to send the one thousand the one thousand a dollar this uh, capital is sent to a, a um to a exchange okay a platform where the one thousand dollar is used for by XRP, which is the native token of Ripple, and this XRP is sent by blockchain, okay, to the to another exchange in the area of the receiver. So now, with the same amount of XRP, this amount is used for by Indonesia rupiah, okay. The XRP is sold by Indonesia. Rupia. and then from the exchange of the of the receiver the Indonesian rupiah is sent to the bank account of the family in rupias so as we can see here the receiver bank has not have any more uh, the the us uh, the us uh, the us dollar blocked on on the receiver bank so this is huge okay another another strength is the speed right now because it's a, it's a new uh, system who works on blockchain technology the uh, the transactions take in about three uh, seconds already doesn't doesn't matter if the amount is small or big the transaction between the banks using this technology takes three uh, seconds okay so uh what is the the, the, the the weaknesses of uh, Ripple? Honestly, I, in my opinion, 
there is only one weakness, which is that they they are competing with a, a entity who is already adopted by the international banking as, as, as system. So it's it's going to be for them hard to um, remove to uh, to swift and take the whole market share. Okay, because for the rest. Uh, Ripple technically is much superior to 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 Swift. Swift is a four, 40 years old system who is working to uh, in f f Okay, they are uh, develop um, uh, new complement uh, systems who are adapt to the old one in order to comply with the new uh, regulation. However, the the core, okay, the core is a old uh, uh, system. Whilst Ripple is a new uh, system that is very simple, it's, uh, it's already working and it's already complying the new regulation ISO 222. So this, these are the points, these are the conclusions. Um, and our intention, our intention with this uh, video is that you can uh, be aware of this um, battle which is being uh, run right now and at, uh, Take it and, and research by yourself in order to to to, to make investment uh, decisions if you want to. Okay. So reaching this point, the the question would be okay. And how are these two uh, system being adopted by the institution, by the financial institutions? So uh, let's go to the to the computer for reviewing some uh, news we have found for seeing with you. So let's see. Ripple arise of partners expand at CIBC NAB joint RippleNet. The Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce CIBC and the National Bank of Australia NAB are joining RippleNet to tap its increasing popular blockchain solution for, for cross-border payments and settlement, according to an announcement for the Ripple, from the Ripple team. Okay? This is from uh, March this year. The partnership centers around adopting Ripple's net global payment network service, which leverage Ripple native stablecoin for instant cross-border payment through the ODL on-demand liquidity service. Ripple, which, which already has attracted over 300 financial institution okay 300 f financial institutions okay are working already with uh triple as a f f f f f finances fit state uh, as has signet an existing roster of financial institution and money transfer companies through on demand liquidity ripple you utilize xrp as a bridge between two currencies thus lowering operational cost and locking capital because of the nostro account and enables the users to avoid pre-funding accounts on each side of, of, a, of a transaction which is the nostro account uh, we are excited to be working with cibc and have already partnered with them in using ripple's blockchain technology to complete international payment transfers between our bank as a proof of concept we believe that technology has the potential not only to deliver real-time international payment, but also improve security and efficiency of our payment system. So this is an important piece of work, said EMB Executive General Manager, uh, Jonathan Dave. So Ripple, uh, Ripple uh, Lab CEO Brad Garlinghau stated to leak to leak to Director of Member Sales Nick Booth Rafato at Ripple Suite 2022 in London. Bank of America is going to gain competitive advantage when the second Ripple case settled by using on-demand liquidity. So it's it's uh, they are stating in, in 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 public that they are already dealing with Bank of America for uh, implement the the Ripple system. Garlin House reportedly, reportedly said Bank of America is a huge partner of Ripple. Bank of America stand to gain really big when the settlement happens because they are gonna they are gonna have a huge competitive advantage over their competitor over their competitors by using on demand liquidity and the marketplace in april 2020 july harris head of global banking of america confirmed the partnership with ripple in an episode of banks of america's treasure insights podcast 
Harris said Bank of America first goal is that customer can do anything anytime anywhere. This is not about the platform and its capabilities, it's about the client and the infrastructure. Okay, this is what said the Bank of America. So uh, American Express joined Ripple, uh, uh, Ripple Net, okay, for commercial global uh, payment. We have also here, so uh, 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 we can see that uh, there are huge banks in, in, in Canada, in Australia, uh, as per is stated here, there are already three, 300 uh, financial institutions collaborating with Ripple in any way. Bank of America, uh, American Express, okay. Here we can read former Ripple advisor Mitchell Barr will supervise the Federal Reserve. Mitchell Barr will influence policy on cryptocurrency and, and stable coins along service as top banking watchdog. So people uh, uh, who is already in, involved in Ripple team uh, are going to supervise in, uh, in, in the Fed the, 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 the um, regulation about crypto and about the stable coins. So this is already a point to consider it. The Senate has confirmed former Ripple advisor Mitchell Barr as a top banking watchdog at the US Federal Reserve after he received a bipartisan support on Tuesday. Okay? President Joe, Joe Biden nominated Barr to the role of vice chair of for supervision of the Federal Reserve in April. We can see also Bank of England, okay, Bank of England, uh, Ripple proof of concept. We carry out a, a proof of concept with Ripple to explore the synchronized movement of two different currencies across two different real-time real gross settlement system, link using Ripple, connect and the interledger, interledger protocol. We want to demonstrate how this kind of synchronization might lower settlement risk and improve the speed and efficiency of cross-border payments, okay, Bank of England. Also, I have found uh, here um, a list with the top 10 banks in the, the top uh, 100 banks in the world, okay, by total assets. Um, as per this uh, list, uh, Ripple is collaborating or they are collaborating with uh, uh, Ripple in a, a percentage of almost a 40%, uh, percent, okay. Uh, so a 40%, almost 40% of the top 100 banks in the world by total assets are already collaborating with Ripple, okay? We can see here, Mitsubishi, UFJ Financial Group is a customer, HSBC Holdings, okay, is a customer, Bank of America, Credit Agricole, Japan Post Bank, Sumitomo, Misui Financial Group, Misoho Financial Group, Banco Santander, Berkeley's, Royal Bank of Canada and so on. Okay, let's say that also, also, uh, the this is a list of 2019. Okay, so it's already a few years uh, ago. It's it's, a, it's actually a three years ago. So now this list could be even be um, a, a bigger. Okay. So uh, as per we we can see here, we have about 300 institutions collaborating with Ripple. Let's see now what is happening in the side of Swift, okay? This is the the, the, the official uh, website of Swift and I have uh, seen in this, um, in this uh, article of uh, about Swift Go, the system that Swift is implementing for, um, for allowing transactions uh, in less than three s s seconds and they have published here a list okay of all the uh, participants in this new um, s s system okay which we can see here is uh, pretty huge abu dhabi commercial bank abu dhabi islamic bank asex bank uh, alpha bank is is a, a, a lot i i saw here uh, also uh, dp morgan chase barclays B, 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 U, U, A, A, it's, it's a lot, it's up. So I, I have count here and it's about uh, 150 banks who are already uh, implementing uh, this uh, or uh, testing Swift Go, okay? So, uh, and of, and of course, all the banks in the, in the world already use Swift uh, system. So what is going to happen, to happen uh, here? 
this is only a thing that the time will will know will tell us and we must have with the eyes open and on the market with the eyes on the market in order to see what are the movement here because it could change the game for uh, from the for the traditional uh, financial system and how it works forever and that is all for today we uh, wish you have enjoyed this this uh, uh, video and this information has been useful f for you if so we would uh, thanks a lot if you uh, like uh, 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 the video in this way youtube will help us to distribute it if you uh, if, if you find the information here important for a strong one just share the video with him or with her and subscribe if you wanna get know about the next videos we will upload so we wish you a prosperous and nice day see you soon